Did you know if you buy a flyback transformer from a shop then it's provided with one instruction set in which following instruction is given that is so dangerous instruction is the device produces small amount of toxic ozone and nitrogen oxide don't use in a closed room the device uses high voltage that can lead to injury or death when using inappropriate don't touch it when power is on also the device produces small amount of uv rays and x rays don't look into the arc for a long period of a time don't break or damage the flyback transformer during operating condition there is a maximum chances of blast now you can understand how much dangerous a flyback transformer if it does not handle properly besides this reason there is a also amazing fact of a trans flyback transformer that is output voltage of flyback transformer is from 10 volt to 30 kv average power consumption of this transformer in most of the application is about to 5 watt operating frequency of this xmr is in kilohertz whereas the general transformer only works 50 to 60 hertz only it can produce as minimum 6 cm arc area that is also called spark the primary and secondary winding of flyback transformer not carrying current simultaneously whereas the general transformer primary and se- secondary winding carries current simultaneously the input of this transformer is between 6 volt to 24 volt dc whereas the general transformer work on a ac power supply this is an original view of a flyback transformer where this is an secondary or output side of a flyback transformer connected with a suction cup this is an primary and a ground pin connection here only one pin is an ground pin and remaining pins is of primary winding because flyback transformer carry number of tapping input windings a flyback transformer sometime also called line output transformer it's used in a crt based color tvs and computer monitor to produce high voltage needed to power the crt and electron gun now let's shortly understand the actual working of a flyback transformer here this is an interior circuit where this is an primary transformer connected with an input supply 6 volt to 24 volt dc this is an transistor q uses for switching off friction here this is an diode connected secondary of a transformer with an load and at the last this is an capacitor connected parallelly to the load now when input is switch on and given to the primary side the polarity of a transformer is become like this and the diode is reverse bias and current does not appear on a secondary the large and fast spike of current thought the primary of transformer causes spiky magnetic field to be generated in a primary now when switch off using this transistor the polarity of a transformer is become like this and the diode become forward bias the spiky magnetic field on a primary produce spiky voltage in a secondary and hence we get a higher voltage and current at a secondary at every switching operation the output voltage of this xmr is given by 1 by 2 lp ip square t where lp is nothing but primary winding inductance which can be changed by changing the number of turns of primary ip is nothing but a primary winding currents and this is an t switching frequency of a transistor q in normal cases the transistor t frequency is about to 15 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz assume that 0.5 henry is an primary inductance 2 ampere is a primary current and 15 hertz is a frequency of a transistor q then the output voltage of a transformer is given by 15000 volts hence the output voltage can be changed by changing these parameters now this is an overall of flyback transformer hope this is helpful for you If my video helpful for you then please subscribe the channel
Also press the bell icon for notification of our new videos.